Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mull for Monday the 16th of January. With Robert Murray McShane, one of the readings we have today is Genesis chapter 17. And it begins, when Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty, walk before me and be blameless. Now this is part of the story of Abram, and at this point, God's going to change Abram's name from Abram to Abraham and continue and reaffirm his promise of an heir. But as I read that, I thought the previous chapter ends with the story of Hagar and Ishmael, that Abram takes a concubine and has a son, names him Ishmael, and complicates the story tremendously. But anyway, um, and the chapter ends, Abram was 86 years old when Hagar bore him Ishmael. And the next verse is when Abram was 99. 86 to 99, that's 13 years, which is quite a long time. 13 years ago, we were just starting 2010, looking forward to the 2010 World Cup, and think of everything that has happened in between. And we're not told what happened with Abraham between the end of chapter 16 and the beginning of chapter 17. Did God meet with him every single day, and or once a month there's a meeting and God would talk to him and we only have the salient points recorded? That's possible. But it's quite also, it's also quite possible that at 86, uh, Abram encounters God and God speaks to him about his son and says, I'll bless Ishmael, but he's not going to be your heir. You will have somebody else. And then 13 years later, God speaks to him again. And I don't know what I would do <laughs> if God just left me for to get on with things for, for 13 years, whether I would hold the faith or what I would do. But we call to do that. And it's so easy as you read through scripture from one verse to the next verse. Abram was 86, Abram was 99, and the story flows nicely. But those gaps in time, um, we need to recognize God doesn't work uh, today, tomorrow, the next day, and he, he's in no rush. Likewise, even with the story of Jesus, we have given his birth, and then silence for 12 years before he goes to the temple, and then silence for another sort of 20-odd years until he begins his public ministry. And even the public ministry was three years long, and we've got 30 pages in a, in a gospel. There's a lot that's been left out, and a lot of time would pass. Um, and we need to just hold on to the faith when we think God's not doing anything, when we're getting disappointed, when we, we, we're impatient and think God needs to do this and you need to do it now, and the, now is the time, God, come on, act. Sometimes we just have to hang back. Wait for God. Be like Abram. It might be 86 to 99. <laughs> I hope not, but it might be, and we've got to let God be God and trust that he is working at the right time, in the right way, and everything is done perfectly. And we've got to fit in with that. So be comforted, be encouraged, and know that you're blessed.